Hey buddy, it's 54 Newstar here and I'm going to show you how to move a 3D animated object from Blender 2.49 over to um, Copper Cube Game Engine. It's fairly simple and all you need is a plugin. Now to get this plugin actually in, there we go, I'm going to erase, erase everything. You're going to go and you're going to stretch this down and then you're going to go to File Pass. And then you're going to go look for your blender version. Okay, that's not what I wanted. And then, okay, I need to go to programs. Let's see. Okay, hold on while I go to my programs. Okay, now I have the basically where it is. I paste it there. I select script path and then your script which I'm gonna have as a download um, and this is to a direct X exporter so you want to export an animated model from blender to copper cube game engine you use this exporter the generic one inside blender does not work very well it works great for static models it does not work great for animated models this one does export animations that you do inside Blender. So the DirectX exporter, you want to actually click on it. So it, you know, it's going to say its name. You want DirectX exporter Jiro.py. Oh, also when you place this script inside your folder, actually place it, go like click on your Blender icon and make sure it's actually in the programs file. Make sure that you drop this inside the Blender program. Uh, the blender folder where your program installs itself and then when when you go looking for it like mine's in, uh my blender folder is in you know program files 86 foundation 249 blender so i know it's there and i tell it okay this is where it's going to be i click on it i select path and then when i export i can export under something called directx exporter with error handling but now we're going to go to plane and you should guys already know what this is what I'm doing right here um, we're gonna go to armature and go to top I'm gonna hit R two times hit 90 and I'm gonna go wireframe I'm gonna select this I'm gonna hit oops okay, I want to go to edit mode subdivide it a couple times uh, select the bone. This is called a bone. Hit E, drag down, E, drag down, E, drag it the rest of the way down. Then hit this. Actually, right click on the plane, right click on the bones, Control P, armature, bones from heat. Now I'm going to go to wireframe. I'm going to right click, split frame. Go to Action Editor, uh, click on little arrow, add new banner, and banner, wave, and set to zero. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it, so I'm going to click on edit, it's going to say pose. I'm going to go to the little cylinder, there we go, we got our little animations. So I'm going to select all of them, and I'm going to go to solid, and actually we should be able to see it, so I'm going to actually go look for something. Um, go to desktop. Go to textured mode now. I'm going to rotate this. 180 so it's not good okay so when we start out I'm gonna go back to my animations animation editors are all clean I'm going to go to my little right click on the bone pose mode select all the bones I location rotation scale that's a base that's how we're gonna start it and end it okay wind comes up we want this to go there that to go there. Oops. Actually, let's do something real quick. 
Usually this works. Um, we clear parent. Okay, now I think we cleared it. I'm gonna hit everything. Then that. Also, oops, I don't want that. Clear parent. Okay, why aren't you doing it? It works every time except when I want to do it. Armature. Run some heat. Pose mode. Hold on one second. Okay, it just seems like I had I had one of the settings off. Um not one of those settings. I just had to rework it on how it was parenting. Apparently I wasn't parenting it right. Um, but it, it's fairly simple. And I'll just show you guys real quick. Um, so that's parented. I'm going to clear parent. And we should be able to select one of these. Good. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to right click, right click on, uh, make sure we're in object mode. Right click that, right click a bone. Make sure we're actually clicking a bone. And then control P, armature, bone from heat, pose, round the circle thing. Boom, now we're working. Sometimes you just have to edit it. So there we go, it's not perfect. Normally you would do something in like a fluid map or whatever, but in Copper Cube Engine, I kind of like it. It's kind of like the 90s, early 2000, 2005-ish thing to where you have to hand animate everything. So again, we're starting with our default flat map and then the wind blows it. Select all of them, hitting A. Go to frame 15. And then we have to. You, you select your frame, then you animate it. It's too steep. Let's go that. Select all of them. I rotate location scale. So I'm going to hit. Okay, now we've got some basic frames. Now we want to go 15. Now we want to get 30. Where this rotates up. And then actually you want, to, you want to select all of them. That looks a little bit. I think I want that to come in closer. I'm gonna don't need that. So you guys, this is kind of built for new people and people who j already know it and I'm trying to do everybody at the same time. That's really, really bad. So I guys normally I spend like an hour on something like this. Okay, now that's up there. And then I'm going to swing that forward and then select that 1530 go there that's going to swing forward then that's going to swing forward and then the whole thing will just wrap around Swing this back. 
Oops. Yeah, swing this back. Swing that back. And now we're just gonna go into a gentle back to normal animation. Shift D. 75. So we have a. Oh, yeah, that was better actually than my last one, but it's still not perfect. But that's what we're going to be working with. So I'm going to select. So we have it here. I'm going to select this little pin. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Export. DirectX Exporter with Error Handling. Boom. Make this big. Okay, oh yeah, this will be default. You want to select the top one that says animations will not be exported. And you want to change it. When you click it, it'll say animations will be exported. Now you want to say export everything. It's going to move to my 3D folder. I'm going to say banner new animation. Export DirectX. Boom, done. Oh, you can also set frame rate, but it's usually whatever is in the... Um, hold on. It's usually what's ever, what is ever in the, um, we call it frame rate thing. Also, you can set your frames here. So I had 75. So let's just redo that real quick. Export. So you set your frames here, the end frame. The frames, uh, frames per second. Export, DirectX exporter. That one's already selected. That's selected. Export everything. And then I'll just save it over it. So I said banner animation. The B. Banner new animation. Export. And we're done. Now I'm going to go to Copper Cube. Now we're in Copper Cube. I have a test scene set up. And we're going to click right. We're going to insert an animated mesh, banner, new animation. As you can see, it's imported, but we have an issue. It's running at 250 frames. We just take off the zero. We hit all, but we're going to go to edit. And I'm going to say new. I'm going to rename it banner animation. It's going to run at 25 frames. It says 0 to 75. That's what I wanted. So I'm going to click X. I'm going to select this. It's going to say banner animation. Now we're good. Now I want to texture it. So we're going to set. Um, we have to add the texture. My desktop. There it is. Enter. Oh, I also want it double-sided. So, double-sided material, yes. Boom. And that is really, really easy. Instead of using um, a lot of these other exporters, you just go to Blender 3D, which is free. I'm going to put all the links down below. I'm also going to put links where, the, where I post this video. And again, it's not, you know, the greatest animation, but it was to show you guys uh, you can export to Copper Cube for Engine. So hopefully, hopefully, guys, you uh, understood it. Put the comments down below if you want to understand more, um, or you know, if you want to ask me questions as well. I meant to say, and uh, hopefully, guys, you hopefully it will work for you guys because it worked for me, and I've been looking around for an animation or animation program uh, to build a game similar to Legacy of Kane, of Kane in the first person view. And, uh, yeah. So, that's it, guys. Bye.